okay um isostatic pressing which is isostatic which means the pressure coming from all different directions okay using fluid to transfer the pressure pressure in pressing process okay advantage we can have uniform pressure instead of going along one direction and the higher pressure allowable in principle these are kind of a two setup one is called wet bag the other one called dry bag i'm going to talk about them um, briefly wet bag isostatic pressing we have the big container pressure vessel inside it we have so-called hydraulic fluid some types of oil quite often okay some types of oil and then you have the piston which apply the pressure within here and then here this is your powder and your powder is put inside a some type of container soft container that allows it to change shape okay pre-shaped sample load in soft bag which is this guy vacuum okay remove the gas as much as possible and then immerse into this fluid and apply pressure and then it's going to compress from all different direction okay for complex shape or large size sample people can do this the other one is so-called a dry bag which is still pressure vessel still mount draw or your top press and then again you have so-called rubber diaphragm which is to separate the powder from the your hydraulic fluid your, your oil or whatever and then powder and then you have dry powder rubber diaphragm and then you have the die filling the shape load powder into six rubber bag with rigid core or support this is essentially your rigid core and then apply pressure okay easier for automation used for small sample um, shape but of course compared to these versus pallet which one is more simpler compare these versus pallet which one is simpler definitely the pallet right this one wow apply oil you think how messy it can going to be it's messy i haven't done this myself i acknowledge but you can just imagine oil bag messy it's just messy that's why you only do this for special occasion if you absolutely have to do it okay